Dean Kamen changed the lives of millions of people with bold new technologies. Already a successful inventor in high school, he whipped up his first commercial invention in his mid-twenties. His brother, a cancer researcher, needed to deliver small amounts of drugs to sick babies. So I built these tiny little devices that I could electronically control a precise movement of a syringe. And that pump later evolved into what everybody now knows as the wearable insulin pump. Born in 1951, Kamen was not a good student. I found school intimidating and frustrating. I'd rather sit around and think about better things or better ways to do things. And the idea that all the answers to all the questions they told you they were going to ask you are in the back of the book said to me, why do I want to waste my time learning it? If the answer's in the back of the book, just go there. He grew up in a modest suburban New York family. My father was an artist. His father told him to do as he had done. Find something you love and get good at it. And I thought I would just learn how to do things like create solutions to problems and I would be judged by history. I would be judged by whether people wanted my stuff. In 1982, he sold Auto Syringe and started DECA, the invention factory he still runs today. Well, DECA actually doesn't make products. We make solutions to problems and then we go to big partners that have the capacity to efficiently get those solutions out to millions of people. DECA created the Home Choice Portable Dialysis Machine in 1993. It changed the lives of millions of kidney dialysis patients. Later, DECA found another way to give people more freedom. I'm sitting in an iBot to be developed to help the disabled community get around. And most of all, stand up, look their colleagues in the eye. In 2002, the same underlying technology led to the Segway, a revolutionary new take on transportation. DECA's slingshot can purify even the filthiest water. The Defense Department hired DECA to develop a robotic arm for injured soldiers. When you see what they do, when you give them the Luke arm, and you see them learn to do things with it, you know why you made it. His creativity and 440 plus patents have made him the face of invention. One secret of his success, never give up. My business philosophy, I think, was derived from the cockroach. You can keep stepping on me, but I will not give up. Another, fast failure. Give me a system that crashes and burns and fails, but let me learn from it. In 1989, Cayman started what he considers his most important project yet, investing in the next generation of engineers. I started first because I want to give back. I've been lucky in life. And first is sort of a microcosm of the real world of engineering. It's the real world of a lot of things. You're given a problem and you're given a pile of stuff. Thousands of first teams across the country receive identical game rules and kits. They have six weeks to design and build a robot to compete against all the other teams. When you see the energy in these kids and when you see their passion and at the end of six or eight weeks they've changed. They've changed because what they built is way more than a robot. They built self-confidence. They built self-respect. They built an awareness of what's possible in the world. Cayman wears his trademark work shirt all the time because he is working all the time. I get up every morning with a passion to do what I do and I got a lot of things I want to do and I got to make use of all of my time every day. Our best projects haven't happened yet. The 2011 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Mechanical Engineering was awarded to Dean Kamen for his resourcefulness and imagination in creating mechanical devices that broadly benefit society and enable people with disabilities to improve their quality of life 
and health.